Okay, we're entering week two, which means we're talking about the lottery and the destructors. So we'll start ta start off talking about the lottery. Um, and we're going to begin with the plot. And I think the plot works a little bit differently, well, much differently than the things they carried, and a little bit differently than Cathedral, which we read last week. So in the lottery, we really have basically the plot moving from point A to point B with no interruptions, right? If you remember the things they carried, we were jumping around all the time. And in Cathedral, we moved, for the most part, from point A to point B, but we have some filler, some backstory being filled in along the way. So we're still, there were still moments of retrospection, right? We don't really have that here. In the lottery, we're basically present in this village the entire time from the beginning until the end, okay? Um, and we have suspense, which is something we didn't really have in, the, in uh, the Things They Carried. Remember, in The Things They Carried, we're told seven times that Ted Lavender is going to die before he actually dies. At what point do you figure out what's going on in the lottery? Well, you definitely don't find out on the second page like you do in The Things They Carried. So part of what's going on with the plot in this story is that it's building suspense. And, you know, maybe something we can talk about in the discussion. I have, you know, several discussion points, but we can add to this. Something we can talk about in the discussion this week is at what point you really figured out what was going on. Were there any things that foreshadowed the lottery becoming the stoning versus it becoming something that you would like that you would like to win? Um, so we can talk about at what point you figured out the plot was heading in this different direction. Because in the things they carried, we know right away Ted Lavender is going to die, and that's basically the trajectory of the story. And in a way, it's a spoiler, right? We know what's going to happen, and so the story you know, depends on other things happening along the way. The lottery works differently. The plot is always moving forward, and we don't know anything ahead of time, right? So we don't know that um, Tessie's going to be stoned until the very end. Um, maybe some of you thought that was going to happen earlier, so if you did, you know, point out certain passages where you started to think that might happen. Um, but for me, the first time I read it, it came as a surprise to me. So here the plot is working a little bit differently, and it's, it's accomplishing something very different than the things they carried. And it's just another way of pointing out how an, an author can use plot to achieve a certain purpose. Because, you know, the lottery would absolutely not function in the same way if it was written the way the plot is written in the things they carried. I mean, basically the story would be ruined, right? Um, and then th there would have to be other things happening in the story in order to keep it interesting. So, just sort of a comparison and a contrast between the things they carried and the lottery um, this week when we're talking about plot.